Hey, welcome back to another episode of Restoring Christine. My name is Bill. It's 56 Bel Air behind me. Her name is Christine. This channel is Restoring Christine. It's been a while since I've said that. Um, I've let my videos roll on, and um, you know, just I think um, most of my subscribers know who I am by now. Uh, those of you who have not, welcome to the channel. Um, this this video, where I'm at right now in the build, is I'm getting ready to to, to paint Christine. And I'm at an awkward point right now when it comes to trying to create YouTube content. Because up until now, everything I've been able to do has been like, oh, here's a project. We're going to fix this little part. Let me show you how I'm going to weld the quarter panel together. Let me show you how I'll repair the door. Here's an episode on primer. Well, where I'm at right now is I'm past a lot of that body work and I'm approaching the ragged edge of like, when can we finally paint it? I'm right on the cusp of it, but I'm not quite there. So. What I want to talk about in this episode is just simply that process and why you shouldn't rush things. So here it comes. So a lot of people ask me, when are you going to paint Christine? When is it going to be ready to paint? When are you going to finally throw down some color on that car? And this is probably the number one tip that I can offer to anybody out there. It's very tempting. I'm, I'm probably, I don't know, what, a year and a half? I've I lost track. Two years into the build, I'm not quite sure. Um, but it's a process. And if you really want something nice, you've got to take your time with that process. I've seen other channels out there, and not to knock them, but uh, they're, they're driving towards our goal is to get to this show on that date, and we've got to finish this, and then that means I've got, to, I've got to finish prepping it on this weekend, and by the next weekend, we better have paint on it, and then the weekend after that, we're doing yada, yada, yada. I've learned over time, particularly when I did, I have a 1971 Cutlass convertible that I rebuilt a few years ago and it took me three years to do it. And as I've learned over time, you can't rush things. The best schedule to go on is what the car and the process tells you what it needs to be. Simply put, don't paint before you're ready to paint. It sounds, it, it, it sounds so, so simple. But that's the truth. I've been working on this car now for, let's see what, I, I, I've been decking it for several weeks now, trying to get it blocked. I used a polyester primer, that's in an episode back. I, I used a guide coat and sanded it with a guide coat, and that's in an episode a few, a few ways back. Uh, the last, I don't remember what the last one was, whether or not I primed it, and I started really like block sanding it by hand and doing that again, and uh, it's getting, closer and closer and closer but there's little bitty details and that's what it is the devil is in the details that's what I'm doing right now I'm going to show you a few things the things that I'm talking about and then hopefully that'll help understand and maybe instill a little bit of patience in your project so let me show you where we, what we're working with so she's got a good coat of high build primer on it sanded down and what I found as I was going through things, I had little flaws, like there was something here. As I was sanding this by hand, I didn't like the shape of this, and it just looked like it was a little bumpy. I had a high spot that was coming through, so what I did was I took my, I took my, my hammer and dolly and I, and I knocked that down, and then as I knocked that down, I decided to, uh, to grind a little bit. It got too thin, I had to weld and patch, and then now I'm still building my way back up. So this little bitty spot, it's only like an inch and a half by an inch and a half, but I've got hours on that and it's still not done. Another, another area is right here. I've got an episode, I'll put a link up here where I repaired this A, the a pillar. And all this came out really neat. But I did, when I did the A pillar, I did it with the door off the car. When I put the door back on the car, I realized that I didn't have my alignment here just the way it needed to be. So um, I went ahead and I put in, I cut this and then added a little bit of metal I welded in a patch right here that were not a patch but an extension i extended this out and then reshaped it now i've got a little bit of body filler on it getting those contours back in it's just a tiny bit to fill in where the weld is but uh you know i, I couldn't rightfully do an episode on that or maybe i could but it was just you know I'm, I'm working on a whole bunch of things at once i'm scattered another area is at the hip the hip of the hip of the car right here this was a, a rusty windowsill that i repaired and i'll put a link to that one up here too so I did this rusty windowsill, and when I did, it, it kind of altered the shape of this hip. So I've had to basically reshape this. 
And as I'm sanding it, I had everything block sanded. And I'm looking at this, and you know what? As I'm feeling it, I didn't like the shape of it. So I went ahead and I put in a little bit more filler and I started to contour this. And now this is dialing in. It's getting where I want. Another area, I replaced a quarter panel right here. This is a quarter panel. It's a welded seam all right here. And then I want to say that I went across and then down put a link to that video that's probably one of my more popular videos that quarter panel replacement but as it tied into this wheel well this little the splice wasn't shaped as as nicely as I wanted it so I've been gradually a little more body fill trying to trace this line get this line nice and smooth and crisp and, and in an alignment that when this is all painted it's all gonna look like a perfectly smooth arc and that takes a lot of hand detailing. I'm sitting here working with this one splice. Still got flaws in it. Still got, um, I don't know if you can see that, but there's a little a holiday working with that. Another thing that some people, uh, you know, hobby builders, <laughs> don't pay attention to are the quarter panels. So underneath here, it's very easy to leave filler all on the bottom edge and then not to treat this one, this, this rail, this splice, this factory splice, which this is new. So I replaced that uh, rocker panel. We'll put a link to that up here. Um, so working with this, you know, I'm working, I'm laying on my side and I'm trying to sand this and make sure that this quarter panel, I mean, that quarter panel, this rocker panel looks good. And that takes time. I'm working my way around the car. And I had... I did a rusty C-pillar repair. I repaired the package tray. The package tray, I replaced this. I had to create all of this from, from scratch. This was like, this is I'm, probably the one single thing on the entire car I'm most proud of is how this whole repair came together. That was complicated. But there's a groove. There's a little trough that comes across and right here where the, where the molding fits in. And I've been having to, you see this little imperfection, that's because I've been trying to reshape this little trough and make sure that this looks really good in this corner but that's taking time another thing are these rear caps this on the 56 you know the the tail light drips uh, dips down and and it this this shape right here on christine was um all it is is brand new so i've got two episodes i got one where i did this side and i've got another episode where i did that side but these, as much as we went rounded and shaped all this, you know, I'm sanding all this by hand. And literally, as I'm, you know, feeling this, this, I can, I, I'm feeling, I'm paying attention to the shape. I'm, I'm paying attention to, like right here, it had, it had kind of a little bit of a, a little bit of a break right here where it came. It was rounded and smooth and then suddenly, boop, it folded over and it went rounded and smooth on the other side. So this is something that we've been building up to. I also replaced... I've got an episode on this drip rail, on how I made this. I took a piece of uh, wood and carved out a piece of wood and made this drip rail right here on this side. I made one for both sides and replaced it. But now I'm trying to, I'm trying to shape in. I want to make sure that this cap blends in with that right in here. And so there's a lot of little detail in here that I've got to sand and fill. The trunk... I had this gap, I liked this gap up to a point, and then um, when I was working with these sides, then I noticed that the trunk lid was a little bit high in here. So I'm probably, probably going to play with this a little bit more. I'll probably bring a little more filler in here and get that aligned a little better than what it is. I've been working with this rear cap. That's the same thing I just showed you on the other side. Let's get to the passenger side. I'm going to go from the front because it's a little easier for me to hold the phone. So here's the front. Passenger side. I've had little details in here that have been going. Where did I, where was I at? I think I have a, a during Hurricane Ida, um, two years ago, I re replaced a patch right in between here and here. And when I did and I brought, brought it out, it kind of shrunk and it, it, it went down and dipped down and I had to build that up. But as I've been sanding, you can see the high spot, a little high spot in here. I had been fighting high spots around the edge. So what I'm doing is every time I come over to it and I feel it, and if I think that high spot is riding a little bit too much, I will dent it down, bring in a little bit of filler and get that to where when I sand it, I'm sanding nut, it's gonna look like this. You know, you don't have the sheen of a high spot. 
So I've been taking my time with that. Um, where else? I really, here you go. I've had this door where I thought it was finished six times now. And every time I would block sand it. This is another one where I replaced the lower, the lower section of this, this door. So I thought for sure that I was finished with this, but then as I'm bringing the block sand out, I'm, I'm like feeling it, I'm looking at it, I'm like, nope, not quite there. And I, I actually ended up bringing out the filler again, the Maxi Light uh, uh, filler from Roberto. I brought that out and then just ever so slightly filled in this little bitty area. And you'll see how broad it is. So even a 16 inch board was riding in that and riding out of it. As much as we were trying to flat deck it, it took that much to get in to get into a flat shape. I had to bring out the filler one more time. Again with the rocker, had to do that here. So this is a brand new rocker panel, but in order to get it in shape and in alignment, it had a little bit of distortion and a little bit of dents and dings in it. Uh, so I have floated the entire thing and now I've come back and that's what I'm working on here, trying to get this just right we want it perfect what else similarly over here i've been working with this this is the other splice so i replaced this quarter panel at least up to here and again it splices the same thing so i've been working with that side and it just goes on and on and on there's just a whole bunch of little bitty things something i haven't quite dealt with yet there's a little holiday here i know i can't sand into that this is the surface where it's supposed to be I need to come with a little bit of filler, fill that in, skim this out a little bit, and then reprime it and be on my way. Okay, so as you can imagine, <laughs> how do I video that? How do I put that on, on, on film? How do, we, how do we shoot that? How do we make an episode out of that? And then the simple truth of the matter is, is if I was trying to document all that, it would be so hodgepodge and awkward and I would be slowed down, it wouldn't be able to work. So I apologize for not being able to show you that, but that's where I've been. And that's where I'm going to be this weekend, and that's what I'm going to continue doing. So I'm not sure what's going to happen with the next couple of episodes because uh, I'm, I'm trying to get there. Hopefully, I'll be able to find my way into something like maybe maybe the next one might be able to be on um, on filling the uh, with body seam, body seam sealer. Maybe that. Um, you know, we got a few things coming up to where I'll be able to do that. But right now, I'm not there. Patience, 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 patience. We will get there. So. That's going to do it for this episode. I wish I could show you some work, <laughs> but I'm going to get to it so that I can start, I can resume showing you work soon. So I'm appreciating everyone that's watching this channel. If you're liking the videos, please give them a thumbs up. And if you're enjoying the channel, how about a subscription? <laughs> that's my pitch. That's it. I'm out from here. Until I see you next time, take care of yourself. Cheers.